Hello again everyone, it's Mel from Stocksbridge Guitar Tech. I've got no guitar lesson for you today again. Instead, I'm going to be talking a little bit more about my deafness uh, because I had a subscriber contact me asking how do I cope with the deafness. He's hard of hearing himself and he wants to play the guitar. So he just wanted me to sort of explain how it's different from having normal hearing. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about that. It's going to be a very quick video, this one. Basically, I had a very good understanding, a good grounding in music, because I used to have piano lessons from the age of about 9 or 10 years old until I was 16, until I left school and started work. So I had a, a good theoretical knowledge <clears throat> and then when I was 17 I joined my first band and we used to work the pubs and clubs and then from there I went on and in the 80s I joined a couple of professional bands but unfortunately sort of the end late 89, 1990 is when I started losing my hearing. And it went down pretty rapidly within about six or seven months. I'd gone from having normal hearing to basically almost the level of hearing that I've got now. So I had to give everything up. Well, I didn't have to, but I did foolishly. I gave up music. I sold off all my equipment and I went out and got a job. Uh, a job that I hated incidentally but it paid the rent so I gave up playing guitar and everything else for around 12 or 13 years and it was only after my mum died that I went out and I decided to start playing the guitar again I don't know why I just got this feeling that I should go out and buy a guitar so I went out and I bought a Fender Stratocaster and a little practice amp and a multi effects pedal board and I just started playing for my own enjoyment now what I found was that with the hear if I was wearing hearing aids uh, and playing through the amplifier the sound was pretty awful for me uh, and I couldn't really discern the different notes so basically I could play three or four frets on the fretboard anywhere on any string and a lot of the times it would sound like the same note so if I played if I played something like that it would sound like I was playing it would just sound like the same note so it was it was very difficult at first and I almost gave up again but sort of because of the musical theory knowledge that I had I, I sort of retrained my ears to, to hear the different pictures uh, and still now if I, if I play in a band setting 
um, working with other musicians, which I don't do very often because playing live is a nightmare. Uh, but if, if I do, I, I, I still have this problem where two or three frets could all sound like the same note to me, which is why I don't really play live anymore. So that, that was a, a big hurdle that I had to overcome. Also, like many guitar players, I never really learned the fretboard. I knew basically the note names on the low E string and the A string, the uh, D, G and B strings were a complete mystery to me. And I just knew the shapes for the chords and, and I, I knew the sort of pentatonic scale shape. I knew a couple of pentatonic scale shapes. So I just did everything in those. <clears throat> so one good thing that did come out of, of uh, my going deaf, if, if you could say anything good came out of it at all, was it did force me to learn all of the notes on the fretboard, uh, which was a good thing. So I'd know this was an F sharp because now I had to rely more on my eyes than on my ears. When I used to play when I was younger, I never used to look at the fretboard. I'd just stand there and I, and I would just play it. And if I was playing lead guitar, if I played a duff note, I'd slide my way or bend my way out of trouble. And very often, even the lads in the band didn't realise that I'd messed up because I was so adept and so good that if I was meant to play this note and I played this note instead, I would, I would simply... I, I would bend my way out of trouble or slide into it. Unfortunately, I can't do that. Now, if I'm not looking at the fretboard and I play a wrong note, I wouldn't know that I was playing a wrong note. So it did force me to learn all of the notes on all of the strings across the entire fretboard. And I wish that I'd done that earlier. Uh, I wish I'd done that a lot earlier. And it also forced me to revisit things like the major scale, minor scale, harmonic minor scale, melodic minor scale, uh, and get back into the theory side of things and remind myself about intervals and find out where the intervals were so that now I know if I'm here and I want to play a major third above that, I know, I know it's there. I don't even have to look, I just know that that's a major third interval or a six. That's a six. So I also learned all the intervals. So minor third, fourth, fifth, etc. So in that way, it was a good thing because it did force me to do that. Uh, and it also uh, got me into teaching because I do teach guitar as well. So... Uh, that that was something good that came out of it but i do miss playing live i'd be lying if i said i didn't miss it but i just i i, I couldn't trust myself in a live setting i wouldn't know if i was too loud not loud enough in tune out of tune whereas you know when i'm just playing on my own or to a backing track here on youtube if it's a bit out of tune or i hit a duff note well, you know, it's it's not the end of the world, is it? But I wouldn't like to think that I was doing that in front of a live audience on stage. So that's why I really don't play live anymore. Very rarely, anyway. Occasionally I might get up and do a song, but uh, very rarely. But what I would say to S Super YT65 is if if you really do want to learn the guitar then don't be put off by your deafness at least give it a shot but don't expect it to be easy and obviously I, I don't know if you have any musical experience prior musical experience I don't know if you've ever played a musical instrument 
uh, he didn't actually specify he just said he wanted to play the electric guitar so I'm assuming he's got little to no knowledge that may be difficult uh, so I would uh, what I would say is go for it but learn as much theory as you possibly can learn how to read music learn your scales major minor the most important ones as well as the pentatonic scales learn arpeggios definitely learn the intervals one of the most useful skills for a guitarist is knowing those intervals uh, regardless of whether you're deaf or not and also learn all of the notes on the guitar fretboard don't let it be a mystery to you for so many years like it was to me and like it used to be for many many guitar players I think more guitarists get more into theory now at least they learn the note names on the strings on the neck uh, but back in my day we, we didn't we, we just put a record on and learn how to play it by ear we'd figure out the chords and then we'd go out and play it uh, but things have moved on a, a bit now and you have YouTube and you have DVDs and videos so it's much easier today so certainly Super YT65 I don't know your actual name uh, give it a shot go out try some guitars out in a guitar store or if, if you're not going to be comfortable with that just order a cheap one online uh, and then just see how you go with it but certainly don't let it put you off there are other deaf musicians around not many of us but there are a few Evelyn Glynne uh, massive inspiration to me when I saw what she could do and I believe she's profoundly deaf she has got hardly any hearing at all at least I do have a little bit of hearing left in my left ear and a, a very tiny little bit in the right ear but it's not easy but you know it, if you enjoy it if you enjoy playing the the instrument then I would say certainly don't don't let the deafness put you off uh, just try and find your own way around the obstacles that you are definitely gonna encounter just find your own path but yeah definitely go for it uh, so that's all I wanted to say today I said it was going to be a quick little video this one uh, so that's today's video and I will be back with another lesson next week but that's all from me today so bye for now take care thanks for watching the Stocksbridge guitar tech channel uh, thanks for taking an interest if you do like these videos please remember to subscribe to the channel that really helps me out and if you do subscribe always remember to click the little bell notification so that you get notified when I upload a new video. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.